Good morning, loves. Happy full moon in Libra. Bring the balance. Bring the positivity. Bring that give and take into as today, as tomorrow, as every single day. I welcome each and every one. So let's see what we have for this day as well. I want to say thank you for all of you who are always here. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Much, much appreciation. And may this full moon bring you those insights that you are looking. May this full moon bring that energy that you are always pray for, long for, meditate for or even manifest for so let's see here loves and i want for all of you since as the spirit we decide today that individual zodiac signs will not be into this reading but think of a question any kind of question you have love wise career money family and we will answer that question for you at the end of this reading so let's see loves what do we have for this day april 6 we have ten of wands and ace of wands quite an energy of letting go because you know full moons are great of purging letting go the energies and it's kind of like jumping into a whole complete new energy yes page of swords and eight of swords right here many many of you might feel like i don't know how i can do that and others of you well i don't know how i can do that but i can learn definitely i can learn to move forward with the first card we have a two of wands lovers five of cups seven of wands sun yes this is definitely as of today sun speaks within a day for some of you within a daylight time and the sun also speaks about Leo energy as we speak right now by the Leo season, which is by the end of the summer. But the sun most likely speaks off today. Look at this moon next to the sun. Hermit. Five of Pentacles. And Seven of Swords. So we, we have this page of swords here, but also look at this, lovers, sun, moon, and hermit, Gemini, Leo, Virgo, Cancerian, Piscean energy. So if you are an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, might be definitely your reading. Fathers of you, if you are having the zodiac signs I mentioned, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, that might be definitely your reading. The fact is, what I'm seeing here, somebody here made a choice which is not proud of it or at least in the beginning they thought this is it that's what i want and i'm gonna stick with it i feel also now they they second guess that or they really doubting if they are had the best decisions because you see here with this five of pentacles seven of swords and then five of cups 
and moon. It's like everything here, what they try to stand up for or felt they stand up for, doesn't really matter for them or is not quite. What I'm hearing now is something here can be changed. You know, the moon can't live without sun as the sun can't live without moon. Yes, we all make mistakes. We all making uh, decisions. And yes, somebody here made the decision and regret it. But now they think otherwise. I will clarify this Seven of Swords in the first place. Knight of Cups. Two of Cups. Eight of Cups. King of Cups. And the Tower. Scorpionic energy here. But look at this, Two of Cups, Eight of Cups. It's kind of somebody here could have gone through round and round energy. And they realize that a tower will gonna happen if they are not growing up. King of Wands. There's definitely here something that we need to make the right choice or we need to keep moving. Three of Pentacles. Whatever here, someone realize what doesn't work or what could work. The Five of Pentacles Nine of Wands, goodness, how much resistance is here. Emperor, yes, look at this Emperor here. The ego energy, Queen of Pentacles. And the High Priestess. Somebody realizing now that they could be very happy or they wanted to be happy, but they didn't even know how based on the beliefs or other things. The Five of Cups, Three of Cups, Star. Page of Cups, Magician, somebody here hope that somebody will forgive them at one point in life for whatever choices they made. The moon energy, nine of swords, ten of swords, six of wands. So definitely here I have very strong Leo energy, but somebody needs to overcome all that energy that they've been through. Because we make choices and sometimes we realize they, they were not good. The thing is, as I always say, the strongest will always understand 
where they are and how they can work it through. The others might not. So it seems here that someone will get through, will move forward, even though they feel that they can't. But yes, they will. Yes, they will. Why was in the first place this resistance? Very small communication, very little communication. Four of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and Five of Swords. So the resistance here in the beginning were more likely someone wanted to do certain things but their own way and other thing here they you know that saying i want the cake and eat it too didn't work it out so if you are the one I'm speaking here where you are dealing here with someone in particular, something here did not gone the way supposed to or needed to. And I feel here someone now understand that they are their biggest mistake were lack of communication and their ego I feel also that somebody here were not into any cooperation Ooh. but having here this five of swords five of cups five of pentacles five of wands is missing in this energy comes up much more than were being showed five of wands speaks about people around somebody could listen to someone somebody could follow someone's advices or basically somebody here were very strongly in between and we're not letting this connection to to grow the other thing here for some of you i feel here there was quite a few arguments and very little communication explanation so yeah that's why many, many of you might hear that small talk doesn't work. That's quite a thing. The fact is what I'm seeing, certain things with this full moon starts to, to move forward. So let's see, what are those things that are start to move forward? And for whom? Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Three of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Queen 
of Wands. And the Judgment. What I'm feeling here as the Spirit says, the confidence is the key. No matter you feel you can do it or not, no matter that you trust that that will be or not, bring the energy back. Bring yourself back. Bring your drive back. Look at this Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Have fun. Because look at here, nine, ten, eight of pentacles. Things will definitely improve and will have a big turn out there, whatever that is. And for some of you, it might turn out a little different than what you thought will with the hangman. So many, many of you, you will find that certain things here are bursting, changing tremendously. For those of you who've been dealing here with someone in particular, you might have someone to see And even my my scene today or in the near future. There's something here meant to come again. But this time you are in the driver's seat. This time you see the things way different than you've seen them. This time you know better what you want than what you don't. And this time, you are the most important, not them, not others. I will pick also um, Denise Lynn Sacred Traveler Oracle card, Mystic Healer. Healing energy flow through you. Underneath we have wandering path. Enjoy the journey. Watching clouds. Lay back, rest and relax. And answering the call. The time is now. So definitely here, whatever it's coming, it's a big pop out. Because answering the call card really speaks. Now is your time. The way you do, the way you work it through, that's how you're going to have it. As well, we have here all the nines. And we also have the tens. The ten of cups is the one missing. And ten of cups really speaks. Watch yourself how you bring the great emotional energy back. And even though we are in April and our astrological years start on the equinox, on the spring equinox, on the 20th of March, we are in the first month of a new year. So only now starts the beginning. And here is the first full moon is in Libra, which is we got to start through a balanced energy or in a balanced way. Because how we go, that's how we'll have it. The answering the call card I will read really, really quick because this is the first card actually in, the, in this deck. You've been called. The sacred journey always starts with a call. 
you might feel ready or you might be uncertain and not willing. But when you receive the call, you must respond. If you've been waiting for your life to turn out, the waiting is over. Your true and authentic life, it's happening. If you've been hoping for a sign, this is it. Right now you've been called and a getaway is opening for communication from spirit realms. The energy of courage surrounds you. You may not know what the future brings, but you do know that it is now time to act and go forward. Spirit is trying to get your attention. Right now, your spirit helpers are telling you that this is your time. Listen with your heart. Your time is now. Do it now. Throw your shoulders back. Take a deep breath and plunge forward. The waiting is over. No matter what concerns or hesitation you may have, in the deepest sense, you are ready. Believe. Trust. Follow the science. And there will be many. And miracles will abound. So indeed, here loves, now is the time. Now is the time. And clearing really quick all the cards. If you have a question of any, any kind, Just think closely to that specific question and we'll get insights. And I have the Angel's Answers Oracle cards. So let's see. Whatever question you have, could be a yes, no card, could be a... Um, what should I do in this specific situation? Or how should I proceed in the other one? Let's see. The first card we have unlikely. Another one we have let go. Trust and forgiveness. So whatever here question you loves have, underneath we have ask for help from others. It's more likely someone could give a question if we'll be, be back together or is that situation will improve. It's unlikely. It's time to let it go. I feel here the trust is not how supposed to. For some of you, you need to trust you more than anyone else out there. And forgive yourself, forgive everyone involved, and forgive in the first place that you got in whatever situation is. So for some of you, could be a love connection that you might want to get back. Or, you know, sometimes it's not about getting back. Sometimes it's about, is that person will improve? Is that person will work on themselves when they are healing? The, the big answer here is no. And that's the pure truth. So, loves, many, many of you take that and it's kind of like go ahead because sometimes when we trust there is something better, that we forgive that certain things here didn't work the way we would like to or wanted to. There is a reason. And that's why sometimes when certain things here doesn't go, either 
that's not for you. Either it's not the right time. Either the universe wants something better for you. Whatever that speaks to you. And for some of you, if you are definitely having a hard time, know there is help out there. And this is the, the next card, the compromise. Something here, we're not quite there into the groove to go forward and move forward. Either not at the same page, but definitely something we're not what supposed to or but this car jumped the situation will improve so definitely here as i'm hearing right now there's something out there that it's much better suited for you that being said loves you have a great day enjoy this day Put your manifestations there and go forward with that. Light that candle, purge what you feel you don't need. And most importantly, take care of you. Because you can never pour from my empty cup. Blessings, loves. Namaste.